I read uh, a quote from you where you said he told you uh, to jump like a rabbit, which was one of his instructions. <laughs> Absolutely did. Was that... And he even, it, it is, a, it's quoting him, actually. Yeah. <laughs> he did say it. Was that kind of a typical... He said it in French, saute comme un lapin. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. He was, uh, he spoke to me in French the whole, uh, during the whole shoot. Oh, wow. And I was, I was astonished to see how, how well he spoke French. But anyway, you, you were... Yeah, no, was that like a typical day on set? I mean, it must have been quite tiring for you because your character, she's always moving. It's kind of constant. I mean, talk about her. being tired. Yes, yeah. physically. It's funny. It wasn't an action movie. Yeah. Not that I had to, you know, train for it or, uh, or go to the gym. But it was uh, physically tiring because his characters are always moving. And that's the way Terry films. Mm -hmm. he, he, even, he, he would tell us, don't never stop moving. That's his requirement. Never mm -hmm. stop moving. And if, we, if I would stop he would literally like poke me physically, yeah. you know, sometimes like keep, keep moving, go on. He, stillness is not his thing. He doesn't want anything still. Mm. Things have to just um, grow into something else and tra transcend from one thing into another. And it's like constant, this constant movement and dance choreography, mm. which is quite cool. It's, it's, it's such a different way. Mm. He'll never shoot a scene of two people sitting in front of each other and talking. You know, it's more of a, it's more of a dance performance, mm. I guess. I wonder if, uh, do you think Terence has seen the James Bond movies? Because I think Berenice... <laughs> I don't know. Berenice Molo is in his next movie. So is I'm she? wondering if he's like a big fan or something. I don't know. know. Yeah. I have no idea. No, we, you know, I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember. There's been rumours that he's apparently a big fan of Zoolander. You know Zoolander with Ben Stiller? I, yeah, yeah, I know the film, but yeah. I've never heard... Terry, speaking of that, so I don't know, I don't know. But Terry oh. is very, is a very, um, you know, very alive and witty in his mind. So he's actually, to the contrary of people can think, he's he can be very funny, mm. and he totally gets he gets humor. He you know, he uh, he likes to joke. Um, he liked to uh, to like poke me verbally too sometimes, just mm. to, to tease me. And he's a, he's a very funny guy. Mm. Um, when you saw the film as well finished for the first time, was it what you're expecting, or was it very different? Mm, no, it wasn't what I expected. What I was expecting because I didn't know what to expect. I didn't mm. have a script, um, so I knew anything could happen. <laughs> mm. And once I saw myself running across the field, I I thought, okay, I I was there. <laughs> mm. So um, I know that. Uh, you know, it was a surprise to see how much I was there in the end, but uh, I, I didn't, you know, you couldn't know. One can't know what, what the result is. Um, also, I was surprised to see, of course, uh, how many scenes got cut out, mm. but the movie's already, what is it, almost two hours, I think. Yeah. And uh, of course, you can't have a five hour movie, so Terry does cut a lot. Um, so you basically, it was more of, you know, realizing what was, what got cut out, what didn't, aha, uh -huh, this ended up there, this didn't, you know, and then thinking why, mm. why would he prefer this scene to, to what we filmed? <clears throat> you know, of course, I would, I would wish, I, I would like to him to have put more other scenes, but that's, you know, he's the director and, uh, um, yeah, I thought it was going to be a darker version, even a darker version. Okay. So I was surprised to see how much light there was, actually, mm. okay. surprisingly, because it is quite a, quite a heavy story about mm. relationships.